Hello everyone, Alan Mischer here from VitalityExplorers.com. Join Vitality Explorers simply by logging on with your phone number and you will receive a free text message newsletter called Vitality Explorer News each week. And that outlines scientific information about how to enhance your physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. Now today we're going to be talking about how to stockpile health. This is part of the Ignite Vitality program. And specifically, we're going to talk about why muscle matters. Now, remember, your vitality is associated with your physical, mental, social, and spiritual well-being. They're interdependent. And you can't be vital by being idle. So if you're sitting on the couch like Homer Simpson, eating pizza, drinking beer, and not taking care of yourself, it is impossible to be vital. Um, what I recommend for my students, my clients, and for myself and my family is to make regular deposits in your Vitality bank account. Now, all of us have talked about or been told that we need to put away money for our 401ks or our IRAs so we have enough money when we retire. But how many people have told you to put away or to stockpile health for your retirement or for next week or for next year? That's what we're going to be talking about today. And the first tip is to exercise relentlessly. Yes, I said that. Exercise relentlessly. That means stretching, strengthening, and aerobic activity. We're going to focus today uh, about how to stockpile health in the context of your muscle. But one other tip is to get out there and do something with your friends or your family. And this is just a picture of uh, running a 5K with my daughter a couple years ago. You can hit that social and physical uh, um, pillar of vitality by doing this with a friend or family member. Okay, so let's jump into the why muscle matters. Muscle matters because it helps maintain your body temperature, it generates force, facilitates movement, but also it's the main protein source of your body. Now think about that. If you eat a steak, it's all protein, but your own muscle is also protein, and it's 40% of, of your muscle, or excuse me, of your body mass when uh, you're a young adult. But I'm, gonna, I'm here to argue today that I think muscle determines the quality of your life. And let me explain why. Give me a little bit of science here, but I think it can help you understand why we need to get out there and do some resistive work in order to, to live optimally. So number one, muscle atrophy is associated with diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and cancer. Yes, the big four. So if you don't have a, a lot of muscle, you have an increased risk for these nasty diseases. The other thing that's important to understand is that your muscle is a modifiable vitality asset. Yes, your muscle is modifiable. Your muscle is modifiable until the day you die. Yes, you can, you can increase your muscle strength and endurance all the way up into your 80s, 90s, and 100s if you're lucky to live that long. The reason why is it responds to contraction with increased mass. So if you start doing some curls or some squats or any sort of a resistive exercise, there's a trigger in your muscle to increase the mass. Uh, and the important thing we're going to talk a little bit more today about is that when you do that for about 20 minutes, and that could be riding a bike, that could even be an aerobic type of activity, you release myokines. Write that word down, myokines. It, th that's what happens in response to contraction. Now, you're asking yourself, what is a myokine? I did that my, myself as well. Um, and what, what's important to know as we go through the slides here backwards and then forwards is that a myokine is a protein that is released from your muscle when you contract it. And the most important one, or one of the most important ones, is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Now, you don't need to remember that name, but it's a very, very important thing that happens uh, when you do exercise, and specifically when you contract your muscles. Um, and it's, it's associated with better sleep. It's also associated with better cognition and better ability to protect against neurodegeneration. So this is really important, and the references are heard down in the bottom left, but myokines can increase synaptic strength. So synapses are those things in your brains where there are two neurons are talking to each other. Um, and if you release these myokines, these little growth factors and proteins that are associated with exercise, you can actually antagonize the processes that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. So one of the conclusions of this particular uh, study was that exercise may protect the, gain, the brain against uh, neurodegeneration. The other thing that's important is when you say jump on an exercise bike, which is one of the things I recommend as an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist for, say, uh, knee osteoarthritis, you're actually potentially protecting your brain. This is a very cool study done out of England a few years ago, but they were looking at twins, and this was in females between 50 and 60, 
And the number one thing that correlated with dementia was just an increased year. So if you're 51 to 54, you have an increased risk of neurodegenerative uh, changes. But this person, this researcher and her team uh, actually measured leg strength, and leg strength was protective against uh, the risk of dementia. So it, it can actually say that leg power predicts brain power. And this study was really cool because it also looked at, say, the gray and white matter in the brain in addition to neuro uh, degenerative scoring systems and have found that all of them were improved when you exercise. So you not, may not be afraid of knee osteoarthritis, but if you get on the bike to improve your leg strength, you're going to actually decrease, likely decrease your risk of getting Alzheimer's or other ones. So the conclusion for, from the neurodegenerative perspective is exercise has pro-cognitive effects. It can really help you. Um, and that's where, again, where muscle matters and where the stockpiling health matters. The important part about myokines is we're just getting started in the research and understanding how they can help your liver, your pancreas, and other parts of your body. So again, remember, muscle matters, okay? Uh, the final study I want to highlight here is high-intensity workouts. So those people who are jumping into Orange Theory or doing their own HIIT workouts, um, it can help you sleep better. So again, data. So muscle matters for your brain, muscle matters for your liver, your pancreas, and for your sleep. Okay, so remember today, this uh, lesson is about stockpiling health and why muscle matters. So thank you for listening. Check out vitalityexplorers.com if you want to receive a free text message newsletter called Vitality Explorer News each week uh, based on basically the homework that I do that is aimed at improving your physical, mental, social, and spiritual wellness. And get out there and dare to be vital.